What's your word of the day? My word of the day is clear, right? And so listen, the market setup heading into earnings season um, is clear and investors should really pay attention to the cycle. So, you know, we just had the anniversary, the two year anniversary of, uh, of our current bull market last, last week. So we're heading into the third, uh, to the third year of this current bull market. And we're most likely in the early middle of the market. Um, and so when we think about it, like valuations are higher, PE ratio for the S&P 500 is up about 45% in the past two years. Corporate earnings healthy, right? Uh, profits up um, about 15% in the past two years. So we expect stock prices to push higher, but potentially moderate, which is really characteristic of what happens in that third year of a bull market. All right, so you're basically on the coast is clear to put more money to work. Uh, also yesterday, we heard from Fed official Mary Daly saying that she thinks the central bank remains on track for more rate cuts this year. Is there any sector that makes you especially bullish in? Uh, so for me, we're not really playing the sector game. Um, and listen, when we think about... Um, you know, what kind of fuels the continuation of a bull market. We're thinking about those low, those low interest rates. We're thinking about corporate corporate earnings growth um, and also investor sentiment. And um, so we're not really looking um, at Pivotal. We're not really looking particularly, particularly at um, at individual sectors. Mm -hmm. We're just looking at our entire portfolio because, you know, we, we, we play the long game. So, right, so we're playing... thinking about um, where we're putting money to work. Go ahead. Well, you're playing the long game. I want to ask you, um, while you're very confident about the strength of the market, Bank of America out with a note yesterday saying that investors, they need to start thinking more about dividends in their investing strategy. They believe dividends are going to be a big part of total, a bigger part of total returns going forward. Out with a list of names, um, some regional bank names in there, some energy names, Zions Bank Corp, uh, Kenview, uh, Katerra Energy. I'm just naming a few. We're not going to go through all of them. But what do you think about that idea that dividends are becoming more important? Well, I think dividends are always a good are, are always a good idea. I think what investors have to do is really look at their portfolio. Um, you know, if they are uh, again, I always talk about diversification of the portfolio and really look and, and figure out what your what your overall goal is. Right. Okay. I think this is a good opportunity to rebalance to add some dividend paying stocks if you don't already have some, um, and then also okay. to kind of uh, to kind of diversify out of these Mag Seven names if you're concentrated in those. Got it. Speaking of, uh, we were talking about transports earlier. Your pick for us today is a transport name. It's actually FedEx, down about 15% over the last three months. Give us the quick pitch. Why is right now the time to put some money to work in FedEx? Yeah, so I think it's more about the market than about a partic in particular FedEx. So right now is a great time to buy the names that you have high conviction around on the dip. And so right now, you know, uh, FedEx, as you mentioned, is down about 15% in the last three months. Um, we have seen it turn start to turn a little bit uh, in the past couple of weeks. And so we think this is a good entry point.